Well, there you have it. House Freedom Caucus Chair Mark Meadows, yet again one of a dozen Republicans, calling on President Trump to declassify key FBI documents. Virginia Republican House Freedom Caucus member Dave Bratt with the now, sir. How are you? And good morning to you. Hey, morning, Bill. Thanks. Quiet day on the hill, I take it. Um, you, yeah. you did not. See, you're not one of the 12, but you do support it. Why? What do you think it shows? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, what the American people don't know is that government officials high-ranking the fourth highest at justice is Bruce Orr, and then high-ranking FBI uh, political operatives uh, working for your government were at work with the Democrat uh, opposition research firm. And Bruce Orr's wife is Nellie Orr, and she worked at Fusion GPS. And so you have government officials working because they thought Hillary uh, was going to get elected. They went all in, and there's very damaging emails and text messages that the American people have every right to see, that their own government was working against the Trump campaign right from the beginning, before he was done with the primary even. So that's the big deal. And so it's the fox guarding the hen house. Uh, the fox, there's emails and text messages that will show that they were doing what I just said and what Meadows and Jordan and Gates and Biggs on that committee have shown very clearly. Government workers were working with the Democrat Party, DCCC, Oppo Research, Fusion, Fusion GPS, a husband and wife team to produce a dossier. And that's the only link to the Russians that I know of as of yet. Okay, that's now, the link to you, the Russians. Right, have you seen the dossier? Have you seen these text messages of which you speak? Um, I, I've seen the ones that involve other FBI folks like Strzok and Page that already show the evidence. And now the or piece is on top of that. And so it, it, we already know the evidence, but now we have to prove it to the American people so they know it's just not conjecture. So there's you're evidence saying behind all the claims. If these documents are public, it's, yes. it's a slam dunk. That's, that, it's that's game the over. Case. Right. Game over. It's game, game over. Then right. how, how do we see this entire matter if, if, if that's the case, if that proves well, that, to be true? That, well, that, that's the evidence you need to start a separate investigation, right? So there's an investigation of, of uh, Trump on the Russian side. No evidence has been found. No statute has been violated. Uh, but this one, we already have text messages from Strzok in particular saying, we will not let Trump win uh, the primary election. We won't let him win the general election. And even after the case, we have an insurance chip uh, to take him down as president. All that is in text messages already. Now you have and, you they know, had the fourth the leading Justice yeah. Department. If right, that's the right. case, then why would the yep. president not make this public? Why hold back? Well, right. I mean, you got sessions at Justice, et cetera, and they're trying to run a smooth ship, follow the rule of law, and be very careful procedurally how they unfold this, right? So everything's got to be done uh, by the letter of the law with precision. And so I think we're going to get these, though. Uh, the, the, there is word. Uh, we, we're making progress with officials of getting these out. Uh, they belong to the American people. And when the American people see this, right, that or the fourth ranking at the Justice Department, right, the name, you, you, you can't get any more Orwellian. It's the injustice department, what's going on here. He, he was working with his wife with Fusion GPS, a Democrat political opposition group working hand in hand, he's meeting with Steele more after Steele got fired than when Steele was working there. I mean, you really cannot make this up. And so that's what's at stake. It's a would big you deal. Expect, yeah. Would you expect this to be the October surprise? I mean, if it is what you say it is, yeah. why not yeah, put it I, out before the election? I mean, you, you got a lot yeah. on the line less than two months from yesterday. Right. Yeah. I, uh, well, it, it, for me and for, m for most of the Fox viewers who follow Jordan and Meadows and, and co on the committee, it shouldn't be a surprise. The logic is all there. The evidence is all there already. Uh, this just cements it. Right. This is just the final piece that shows uh, almost beyond doubt what's been going on for a year and a half. And they set up this Russian piece a year and a half ago. Okay. And, and so no evidence uh, against the Republicans. But we do have ironclad evidence, texts, emails uh, from DCCC Oppo. See if the White House is listening. I yep, think they are. You bet. Dave Brown, yep. thank you. The